en coïtion. Veuillez vous asseoir. Please be seated. Reprise de l'audience. The court is back in session. La parole the floor est au procureur adjoint given to the deputy, et co ensuite euh, and then à l'avocat principal. To the lead Je tiens à vous dire que vous restez seulement euh, une session euh, du temps qui vient uh, Merci. Merci, M. le Président. Madame la witness, can you tell us Was there a time when you were at the Trepang Tama Dam that you became aware of cadre from the southwest zone arriving? Réponse. Answer. Non. No. Were you ever aware of a change in leadership at the Trapang Tama Dam while you were there? No. No. Did you know of anyone who used to work for the Lan Nol government either as a member of the military? or as an official who was at the Trapang Tama Dam? No, je no. ne connais aucun ancien soldat de l'ONOL. No former Lonol serviceman. Did you know of anyone at the dam site, work site who had Vietnamese ancestry or were accused of having Vietnamese ancestry? No, no. Je ne connais personne I know no one Vietnamienne. of Vietnamese origin. Did you know any cham who worked at the dam site? Savez-vous s'il y avait des cham sur le site du travail? Connaissez-vous des cham qui travaillaient sur le site du barrage? Non. No. Je ne connais personne de nationalité cham of cham origin sur ce barrage. Or I knew Je no ne connais que des khmer. Origin at that dam site. I only knew khmer people. Did you ever hear anyone at the dam site be referred to as new people or 17th April people? Réponse, j'ai entendu cette distinction de peuple de nouveau et peuple de base. And what did you understand the difference between new people and base people to be? Et qu'avez-vous compris quelle était cette différence pour vous entre peuple de base et peuple nouveau? Pour le peuple nouveau, well, um, ils sont arrivés de Phnom Penh. The new people came from Phnom Penh. That's all I knew about them. Do you know if you were considered a new person or a base person? Réponse. Moi, je suis well, quelqu'un du peuple de base. I was a base person. Do you know if new people were treated any differently from base people? Réponse dans mon village. village Peut-être que tout cela n'était pas à ma, à ma portée de connaissance, well, mais um, tout le monde était traité de la même façon. Was in the same way. 
Were there any new people in your work unit? Y avait-il des gens du peuple nouveau dans votre unité de travail? Oui, il y en a. Yes, there were some. Madam Witness, did you did you ever see any arrests while you were at the Trapang Tama Dam? Réponse uh, oui. Yes. Uh, un jour quand j'étais de garde, when I was standing guard, uh, j'ai vu uh, entre 15 et 20 I personnes saw 15 to 20 people être arrêtés. Being uh, je n'étais pas loin uh, I wasn't de far cette away scène. J'étais, from them. Enfin, j'étais pas près de cette scène. Well, I wasn't that close, in fact. Uh... What do you mean? When you were standing guard, what were you guarding at the time? Well, I was assigned uh, to stand guard where I was working. I was asked um, si y a quelqu'un qui passait par to, um, par là et je ne sais pas qui était arrêté uh, coming uh, through there était environ à 100 uh, entre 100 et 200 mètres why de they were arrested they were about 200 meters away from me emmenés. when they were being taken away and do you know who the people were who were being arrested qui étaient les personnes qui étaient arrêtées No. No. Do you know who the people were that were arresting those people? Qui étaient les personnes qui arrêtaient ces autres personnes? No. No. Could you tell if the persons being arrested had their hands tied at the time? Où étiez-vous en mesure de dire si les personnes qui étaient arrêtées à l'époque avaient les mains attachées? Destination. Elles étaient attachées en file indienne. They were tied up one behind the other. And was it men and women, or just men, or just women? Ils étaient hommes et femmes There were men and women. Et j'ai euh, su cela euh, grâce à leurs cris. And I was able uh, to note that because of their cries. And what were they crying when you heard them? Et lorsque vous les avez entendus, que disaient-ils en criant? Elles suppliaient. They were begging. Du genre, qu'est-ce que j'ai fait comme faute? What was my offense? Please release us. And did you hear anything else during those arrests? Et pendant ces arrestations, avez-vous entendu quoi que ce soit d'autre? Réponse: J'ai entendu des coups de bâton qui assénaient à ces personnes après le silence règnant. Could you also see them being beaten with sticks les when you heard them being beaten with sticks? également en même temps que vous les avez entendus être battus avec des bâtons? Réponse à non, no. j'ai j'ai entendu ces coups seulement et j'avais peur, j'avais tellement peur que so je n'ai pas osé regarder cette look. scène de d'exécution de et Look at donc je n'ai fait que écouter. So I only listened. 
and what sort of sounds were there when you heard them being beaten? Sa réponse à c'était des um, cris de douleur they were the, they were et de supplications. À savoir, uh, ils demandaient uh, quelles étaient leurs fautes. Et combien de personnes avez-vous vu attachées et arrêtées? Réponse. Entre 15 et 20 Between personnes. Et combien de fois avez vous vu entre 15 et 20 personnes être arrêtées Une seule fois. Once only. Madame Witness, I'd like to read to you from your written record of interview. This is E3 slash 9338 at English ERN 002-88641, 002-79134. French 00339891. You said in your written record of interview, quote, no one from my group was arrested for killing, but lines of people from other groups were arrested, tied, and taken for killings. I know that many people from Taval units died. Sometimes people fell down and died while carrying the soil at the dam. When I guarded at night, I saw lines of people were walked with both hands tied to the backs, and in each line there were about 15 to 20 men and women. I saw such events three times. End of quote. Madam Witness, does that refresh your recollection as to that you saw multiple lines of 15 to 20 men and women being arrested and or that you saw such events three times as opposed to just one time. Réponse. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas. I don't remember that. When you saw such events, or this event uh, of the arrest and the beating of 15 to 20 men and women, did you ask anyone why they were being arrested and beaten? Réponse. Uh, patientez un instant, please Madame le témoin, allez-y, Maître Kongsomon. Monsieur le Président, j'aimerais faire Mr. une President, observation, uh, like um, observation here. concernant le résumé Regarding de du procureur adjoint. The Il a dit que le témoin avait vu uh, of, uh, et entendu uh, cette scène de tabac, mais this, uh, uh, en fait, elle a dit beating, tout simplement qu'elle avait seulement entendu des cris et elle n'avait pas vu uh, des coups uh, qu'on a sonné au, uh, à ces personnes. Un autre point, In le procureur point, a dit uh, que ces personnes étaient attachées, uh, alors que le, le témoin a dit seulement que, uh, said, um, comme elles marchaient en file indienne, donc, uh, other, um, il faut distinguer, uh, c'est parce que les, uh, ces personnes marchaient les unes derrière les autres uh, que uh, elle avait émis l'hypothèse qu'elles devaient être attachées. 
thought that they had been tied up. If I could respond briefly, Mr. President, uh, I uh, apologize if I misconstrued the evidence. I agree that the witness said that she uh, heard them being beaten and did not say that she saw them being beaten. So I'll rephrase the question in that regard. In regards to uh, them being tied up during the arrest, I do believe that the witness stated that she saw that they were tied one behind the other. So I believe that my characterization of that evidence is correct. So if possible, I'd like to continue the question with the correction that she only heard the witness, uh, the uh, individuals being beaten and not, uh, did not see them. Veuillez poursuivre. Please proceed. Uh, Madam Witness, to, to rephrase, when you saw the arrests of these individuals and you heard them being beaten, did you ask anyone why they were being arrested at that time? Réponse, non, je no, n'osais pas demander à qui que ce soit. Ask uh, Madam Witness, I'd like to read you a brief Madame excerpt from your written record of interview. Uh, it's the same ERNs uh, that I provided for the previous quotation. Um, and you stated, quote, then I asked my unit chief to ask, I'm sorry. then I asked my unit chief to ask, but she replied that, and this is you quoting her, don't be curious about others' business. Do you want to die? Close quote. I was so frightened and I could not sleep that night. Again, close quote. Does that refresh your memory that you asked your unit chief and were warned not to ask questions or be curious uh, should you possibly want to die. Yes. That's true. Madam Witness, did you see any killings while you were at the Trapang Tama Dam work site? Pendant que vous étiez sur le site de Trapang Tama. Réponse: Non, jamais. No, never. Madam Witness, I'd like to read you an excerpt from your written record of interview. This is E3/9338 at English. 00288641, Kamai 00279134, and French 00339891. And this is what you said, quote, one day at about 5 to 6 p.m. in the evening, when my friend and I went to have a bath, we saw the Khmer Rouge tied, beaten, and dropped one pregnant woman into the pit of the first bridge's edge of Trapang Tama Dam. I did not know those killers. I was fearful, and I ran back without taking any bath. The killers were in black uniform. There were three killers, and they had only clubs, and they did not carry guns, any guns. I saw the Khmer Rouge beating and dropping that woman into the pit with my eyes. That woman was dropped into the pit, and the killers dropped the rocks on top. Close quote. Madam Witness, does that refresh your recollection about witnessing a killing at the Trapang Tama Dam worksite? Réponse. Oui. Yes. J'ai été témoin de cette scène d'exécution. I witnessed uh, this execution scene. Can you please provide us as full a description as possible of what you witnessed that time when you saw someone being killed? 
lorsque vous avez vu quelqu'un être tué. De manière à ce qu'elle soit tombée dans une fosse et puis ils ont laissé tomber un morceau de pierre pour l'écraser. Et c'est tout ce que j'ai vu et j'ai quitté cet endroit. Madame Witness, dans la translation, Um, uh, sorry, I, um, I would like to make an observation. Um, Merci, I have no problem. I had no problem with um, the way the prosecution was asking the question la and then refreshing um, the witness, uh, her memory. What I do find a bit unfortunate is that also all kinds of details were already read um, to um, the witness, and it is. Um, remarkable that she first doesn't remember any killing and now she, she seems uh, that she did or does. Um, so I would like um, to make the observation and, and request the prosecution to be very um, um, what's the word? Um, <laughs> so to be uh, um, not to give too many details as to what she uh, has saw, not to, to, to give too many details uh, in reading the excerpt. So please go step by step. Mr. President, if I could just respond briefly, I think at the point where I have asked open a question, uh, I am refreshing the witness's memory. Uh, the witness is entitled to know the entirety of the statement that she has previously given uh, in regards to these events. Uh, she's ten testifying here under penalty of perjury. So, um, to, uh, I think it would be uh, uh, not only immoral but unjust uh, to provide only um, some of the details that she previously provided. Um, and to, to try and catch her out on, uh, on some of those other details. So I ask if I could proceed with my questioning. Le président, veuillez poursuivre. Please proceed. Le procureur adjoint, en réalité, Maître Copé ne s'oppose pas à votre question. Mais il aimerait que vous posiez des questions ouvertes like et il, il aimerait que vous And, uh, ne n'élargissiez ou like développiez pas uh, excessivement les, uh, ces déclarations précédentes. Donc uh, il faudrait uh, poser plutôt des questions testimony. ouvertes. Donc vous devriez poser des questions ouvertes. Merci, Uh, Madam Witness, um, following up on my on my question, I heard in translation um, that, that male uh, pronouns were used. Um, your your statement uh, was referring to a pregnant woman. Uh, I was wondering if you could clarify uh, the gender of the individual that you saw being killed on that day. Réponse. Il s'agissait d'une femme yes, enceinte. Woman, in fact. And how far away were you when you saw this killing? Réponse. Answer. C'était uh, de 20 à 30 mètres de moi. Et vous avez dit que vous avez vu l'individu être battu avec des clubs. Vous avez tous les trois Khmer Rouge membres battu l'individu avec des clubs ou seulement l'un d'entre eux 
Avez-vous vu que c'était les trois Khmer rouges qui battaient cet individu ou seulement un d'entre eux Le président, Monsieur le procureur adjoint, veuillez poursuivre. Un instant, s'il vous plaît. Allez-y, maître Verkel. Oui, je vais formuler une nouvelle objection sur le même thème que la précédente, c'est-à-dire que le procureur ne cesse d'alimenter le témoin avec des informations. Il vient encore de le faire dans sa question en disant, en posant la question de la manière suivante, en disant, je ne sais plus exactement quel était le thème de la question, mais en désignant les trois agresseurs comme des Khmer rouges, cette information ne figure même pas dans le PV d'audition du témoin. Of the, um, Alors je trouve ça quand même un petit peu so fort, euh, bit, uh, tout à coup, de, Suddenly, de désigner ces personnes ainsi. Le président, euh, And, um, ça suffit. Alors, euh, monsieur le procureur international, Deputy, veuillez poursuivre. International Just to note that it is in her written record of interview. She states, when my friend and I went to have a bath, we saw the Khmer Rouge tied, beaten, and dropped one pregnant woman into the pit of the first bridge. Um, however, I will move on. Uh, witness, can you tell us anything else about who the victim was or who the perpetrators of the killing were that you know? Réponse, je ne les connais pas. Answer, I do not know them. Le président, qu'est-ce qui se passe Le président, qu'est-ce qui se passe Dans les transcrits, monsieur le président, qu'en français, cette mention n'apparaît pas. 
Voilà. This Donc, particular pas écrit dans le detail doesn't appear in the French. Que moi, sous les yeux. I don't have it in the document in French si I have before me. Part, and even if it does exist euh, somewhere else, it is part of the precautions that you should take before the witness is fed with such information. Alors, Mme Bonnet, vous avez dit que 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 le président, si vous optez pour ce genre de pratique, vous n'auriez peut-être pas de questions à poser. Il est possible, il est impossible de contre-interroger un témoin si on ne recourt à aucun extrait de leur déclaration précédente. Madame Witness, Uh, very quickly, because my time is short, um, were you married during the Khmer Rouge period? Le procureur, Madame le témoin, très rapidement car je manque de temps, étiez-vous marié sous la période des Khmer Rouge? Hot man. Answer. No. It was almost at the end of the regime. Réponse. C'était vers la fin du régime. Perhaps there was a translation issue, but um, is, is it correct that you were married towards the end of the regime? Answer: uh, Yes, uh, yes, it happened uh, in you know at, almost at the end of the regime. And did you choose the person? Who became your husband? Did you choose to marry him? Answer: I did not know at that time whether I was requested by someone to marry any man. In the evening, the village chief came to me and told me that I was going to be in the marriage. And before the marriage ceremony, did you know the person that you became your husband? Qui par la suite devenu votre mari avant de l'épouser? Réponse. Answer: No. No. Did you want to marry that man when you married him? Answer, no, I did not want at all. I was too afraid to reject the marriage. Thank you very much, Madam Witness. Mr. President, I believe my time is up. I will cede the rest of the time to the civil parties. Thank you. Thank you. The floor is now given Merci. to legal lawyer for civil parties to put questions to this witness. You may now proceed. But um, good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, everyone in and around the courtroom. I am grateful for giving me time Je after the prosecutor to put question to this witness. Good afternoon, Madam Witness. I am Pei Ang, National Legal Lawyer for Civil Parties. I still have almost 30 minutes to put questions to you. I would like to. I, I have follow-up questions to put to you in relation to marriage. Sur justement la question du mariage. You stated that at that time you did not know there was someone proposing. Vous avez dit que vous ne saviez pas à l'époque que quelqu'un suggérait que vous mariez. Could you tell the court who proposed the marriage? Pouvez-vous nous dire qui a fait cette demande? Knyomat. Réponse. Answer. I did not know. Je ne le savais pas. Proposal came from. Any individual. In the evening, the village chief came to tell me that I had to marry a youth named Rong. Lawyer, you stated that 
the village chief came through your house. Chef de village, Are you referring to, to the house in the maison. village or where was it? Maison dans le village. Où Actually, I wanted to say that uh, the unit chief en fait, of a mobile unit uh, told me to go back to my home in the village. And village. when I arrived at uh, my house, uh, the uh, chief of children's unit le came to tell me that I had to go and marry Mr. Rom, Rom, lawyer. Thank you. Question. What time was it Merci. at the mobile unit that uh, you were told uh, uh, to go back home? Quelle heure était -il quand Answer. On vous a dit de I was Réponse. told in the morning le matin, comme dit. that I, I was told that I had to go back to my village in the morning to marry a man called Rom, and I told uh, my uh, unit Rome. chief that uh, I did not want to go to get married, and uh, he replied, please be careful, you would be killed, lawyer. So what made you afraid of it? Pourquoi aviez-vous peur? Answer. I was told Réponse. that if I uh, refused to go back to my village and get married, si uh, village my family, marier, the whole family, would be killed. Lawyer, did you observe Question. that there was anyone opposed the marriage? Quelqu'un s'est-il opposé au mariage? Answer, no. Réponse, no. Pas que je sache. Lawyer, thank you. In relation Question. to Merci. the marriage, where was the marriage held and when did it take place? Answer. Réponse. The marriage was held at Boja. I only knew that it was held in the evening. I do not know soir, specifically the time. Lawyer. Regarding Boja, was the hall built for the marriage? Y avait-il un bâtiment construit pour les mariages à Boja? Answer. Réponse. No hall was installed non, at that time. De, de hall. The marriage uh, took place at uh, the house of the cooperative. Uh, lawyer, lawyer, could you tell the court? Could you expand Question. a little bit further, a little, a little bit more on that uh, matter? Pouvez-vous nous donner plus de détails? President, uh, Madame Witness, please hold on. Madame please Madame observe the microphone before you give your answer. Answer. That le place thème. was referred to the house for female chiefs. On Lawyer. Ces bâtiments le, Thank you, la Madame Witness. When did the marriage take place? Question. Answer. I do not know about the time bon, when the marriage started and the marriage ceremony ended after all children went to sleep. Et, uh, le I, did not, quand I do not know about the time when it was held. Mais je ne Lawyer, sais pas when, how old were you Question. when you got married at that time? Answer, I, I was 17 years old. Question. Question. What about your husband? How old Et was he? Votre époux, quel âge avait-il? Answer. I did not know at the time. Je ne le savais pas. His age. Lawyer. Question. What about later on? Et Do you suite, know how old was he was? Avez-vous su quel âge il avait? 
Answer, I do not know. I have no idea at Je all. Ai aucune idée. Lawyer. No. I want to focus on the marriage and I will ask you about the time after your marriage later on. Could you tell the court who attended the marriage ceremony at the time? What were their positions? Answer. I cannot recall it, uh, lawyer. Question. Question. You made mention that the marriage was held at the house for female chiefs. Dans la maison réservée aux femmes chefs. Could you tell the court if you recalled who attended the marriage? Nous dire si vous vous en souvenez qui a participé à la cérémonie. Were there only you and your husband vous et votre mari? at the marriage ceremony? Were there other people at the marriage ceremony? Answer, I cannot uh, recall it, uh, Mr. Lawyer. Monsieur l'avocat, je ne m'en souviens pas. There were other people attending uh, my wedding ceremony. Il y avait Lawyer, personnes you qui made mention that mariage. there were many Réponse, other people attending the marriage. What did you mean by que that? Dire par là? How many of them were there Combien at the wedding? Could you give your estimates? Pouvez-vous estimer le nombre de personnes? Answer. Villagers Réponse. were also attending Les the marriage at that time. Participé. Perhaps there were about 50 to 60 attendees. Personnes. Lawyer, thank you. Question. Merci. Were there other couples as well in that couples? wedding ceremony? How many couples were there in the Combien wedding? De couples y avait-il à cette cérémonie de mariage? Answer: Réponse. There were three couples, three couples, and the wedding was held for three couples. Lawyer, do you recall the names of those Question. couples? Vous souvenez-vous du nom de ces autres mariés? Answer: I Réponse. do not know those couples. Je ne les connais pas. Question. Question. Which uh, cadre chaired uh, the wedding ceremony and who led qui the wedding ceremony at the time? Était le cadre qui a Answer, yes, but I uh, do not know that cadre réponse. or cadres. Ce, ce cadre. Lawyer, I would like to go Question. a little bit into detail regarding the marriage. Que Do you recall what was going on during the ceremony? Plus dans le because uh, you nous la cérémonie de mariage? were one of the persons in the wedding. Do you observe what was going on at that time? Une des personnes qui se mariaient, mais vous observez comment ça s'est déroulé. Answer. Réponse. We were told to make resolution and to be wife and husband et uh, forever. Et Question. Who asked you to make the resolution Question. Qui to become husband and wives? Ce Who instruct you to make the resolution? Qui vous a donné cette instruction? Answer. Réponse. I do not know that Je person. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Question. Question. Did female chief and uh, did the female workers attend the wedding at the time? Y a-t-il eu des chefs femmes, des travailleuses à votre mariage? Answer: No. Réponse: No. Question: Can you tell the court where the Members Question. of your family attended uh, the marriage si ceremony back then. 
answer. Réponse. My relatives or siblings did not non. attend the wedding at ma that famille, time. Ni ma fratrie. Question. Question. How did you feel at that time when you Quel saw no one from your family in the wedding? Comment vous sentiez-vous quand il n'y avait personne de votre famille pour euh, assister à votre mariage? Answer. Réponse. I was really disappointed because of my déçu. parents were not allowed to attend the occasion at that time. Assister. Question. Question. Did you think of any other choices to refuse the marriage? If you had choice, uh, what did you think you uh, would do at that time? Si vous aviez eu le choix, qu'auriez-vous décidé de faire à l'époque? Answer. I Réponse. would not uh, get married Je at that time, but I was uh, too afraid uh, to be killed. Mais j'avais peur de mourir. J'avais peur qu'on me tue. Question. Question. Were there Buddhist or traditional rituals A-t-on observé les rites bouddhiques traditionnels lors de la cérémonie de mariage. Answer no. Réponse no. Lawyer. Now I would like to ask you about the time after you Picante. got married. J'aimerais maintenant que l'on parle after the marriage. de la période après votre mariage. Where did you stay after your marriage? Où avez-vous résidé après votre mariage? Answer. After the Réponse. marriage, I was uh, required to go back to the cooperative après and uh, do the rye harvesting. And my husband was reassigned to his respective unit. Et rentré dans son unit. Lawyer. Could I know Question. what uh, your husband worked at that time? Et où travaillait votre mari? Answer. Réponse. He led the children unit. Il était à la tête de l'unité des enfants. Question. Question. Did your husband tell you that he agreed to Votre marry you? And did he tell you that he was the one who proposed uh, the marriage? Did he avait, know avait you you in advance vous marier, marier? before the marriage? Vous connaissait-il euh, avant? Answer. I did not Réponse. care asking him about uh, this matter, and he did not uh, tell anything about that. Il ne rien dit à ce sujet. Question. Question. How long did you stay together, and have you still been uh, husband and wife ensemble? after the Khmer Rouge Et time? Avez-vous continué d'être marié après euh, la période des Khmer Rouge? Answer. Réponse. One month after my marriage, uh, the Vietnamese mariage, troop came into the country and we parted each other. Et nous, nous, nous avons pris des Lawyer, I uh, would like to know about Question. the night time after the marriage. J'aimerais parler de votre nuit de noce. Where did you sleep Où avez-vous dormi? after the marriage? Where did you spend your time after the marriage? Where did you pass your time? Answer. After the marriage, I went back to my own house, and he went back to his. After the marriage, I went back to my own house, and he went back to his. Question. So, does it mean that you did not spend time with your husband after the marriage? Does it mean that you did not spend time with your husband after the marriage? Answer. That is true. Yes, that is true. Answer that Réponse. is true. Oui, c'est exact. Question. Did you have time to meet Question. your husband later on Avez-vous vu votre before mari par the arrival of the Vietnamese troops? Did you have time to meet each other? Vous êtes-vous vu? Answer. Uh, we met each other at my work site on where I was uh, de harvesting rice. Là où je récoltais Question. Du riz. 
Just was just... it on any special occasion that you met each other? It is an occasion particular. Answer. Uh, he was there and asked to consummate the marriage. Il était là et a voulu consommer le mariage. How are you? After the marriage, Question. were was anyone told you that Après you had mariage, the right to divorce your husband? Vous dit que vous aviez le droit when de divorcer you votre could not, uh, you know, uh, stay together with your husband. Si vous ne pouviez pas être avec votre mari. Answer. Regarding, regarding the divorce, it depended on me. Le divorce, ça dépendait de moi. Question. Question. I, I am now referring to the period that is one month before the, the arrival of Vietnamese Did you Soldiers have the right to divorce your husband before the liberation? De divorcer avant la libération. Answer. Réponse. I was thinking at that time that uh, I uh, would divorce him. À l'époque, je pensais que j'allais le divorcer. Question. So, Question. you were not afraid of what happened to you Donc, if you divorced your husband. Si vous demandiez is that divorce? true? Answer. Yes, yes that is true. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Question. I have a, a few last questions regarding the marriage. These, were, these are general questions. Why did they want you to get married at that time? For what purpose? Quel était l'objectif? Answer. Réponse. I do not understand as well. Je n'ai pas plus. Je n'ai pas compris. Why I was required to je get married. Je n'ai pas compris pourquoi il fallait que je me marie. Question. Question. After the liberation in 1979. Après la libération en 1979. Did you still live with your husband? Viviez-vous toujours avec votre mari? Answer no. Réponse non. Question. Can you tell Question. the court why you did not stay together with your husband? Vous à la cour pourquoi vous n'êtes pas resté avec votre mari? Answer. Because I uh, did not love him. Mais je ne l'aimais pas. Lawyer, thank you. Now I would like to move to a Merci. new topic. J'aimerais parler d'un autre sujet. And I uh, will have follow-up questions. Quelque There petit, were some questions questions put poser. by the co-prosecutor already, Question but I would like to seek your clarification on some matters. Sujet dont vous avez déjà parlé avec le procureur. You were required to carry dirt. Vous deviez transporter de la terre. And your unit chief told you at that time that Et you had to complete the work, otherwise problem will be stalled on you. This is what I heard from your testimony. How did you feel at that time when you heard such uh, words vous toward you? Quand on vous a dit une telle chose? Answer. Réponse. I was so fearful. J'avais très peur. Uh, the chief said that, uh, uh, please be careful, I would be dit, taken away and killed. Fais attention, sinon tu pourrais être emmené et tué. Lawyer. Question. I would like to ask you about your living conditions. Je que vous me parliez des conditions de vie. While you were living at the Peng Thmo Dam work site. Sur le chantier du barrage de Trapeng Can could you eat your field? Pouviez-vous manger à votre faim? Answer no, I did Réponse. not have enough food non. to eat. 
Je n'avais pas assez à manger. Question. Question. Could you expand a little bit further? Pouvez-vous donner plus de détails? What was your food ration like? Quelles étaient les rations alimentaires que vous receviez? And uh, how many time of the days, how, how many meals did Combien you receive on a daily basis? Answer: I, I received a one small bowl of rice per meal and, bowl I, de riz and par two meals repas. per day. Je mangeais deux Question: fois par jour. Were there uh, dishes or soups y avait-il différents plats for you during your meal time? Par exemple. Answer: uh, There was rice for me together with. Y Soup uh, mixed with uh, fermented fish paste and a samdang. Pâte de poisson fermenté et du samdang. Question: Did you receive uh, this same kind of uh, food ration from the time you started working at the Bank Mo Dam worksite until the end of uh, the time? Avez-vous reçu les mêmes rations alimentaires au début de votre séjour sur le barrage? Answer. There were Réponse. soup. Il y avait de la soupe. A mix with the uh, fermented fish paste, de la and uh, de poisson fermenté. we would be served with, uh, you know, fish soup uh, on one day soupe de a poisson week. Une fois par semaine. Question. Question. What was your unit's names? Comment s'appelait votre unité? Answer. It was referred to Réponse. as cooperative. I was on in a unit in cooperative. Cooperative. J'étais dans une unité de coopérative. Question. Question. Were there other mobile units within uh, that cooperative? cooperative? Were there any other mobile units close by? Y avait-il d'autres unités mobiles à proximité? Answer. Réponse. I was not walking. I was allowed to walk freely at that time, so I do not know about that. Question. Question. Regarding uh, the unit within the cooperative, how old Et were your member? What was the rate, uh, age cas range? Dans le cas de cette unité de la coopérative, comment, quel était l'âge des membres de cette unité? Answer. Réponse. The youngest uh, member was uh, 15 or 16 years old, ans, and the oldest was uh, 30 or 35 years old. Question, were you in a Question. children's unit at that time? Dans une unité Answer, I was in a youth unit. unit. Réponse, j'étais dans une unité de jeunes. Question. I am Question. not asking whether or not you were in the, uh, the children's unit. Non, je, I would like to know si whether your enfants, unit was si a children's unit. Est une unité Answer. I was part of female unit. Réponse. Dans une unité de femme. Question. Question. I... I think uh, the question I'm going to ask is a repeated one, so I would like to move on to ask you another question. Je vais vous en poser une autre. I would like to ask you about the living conditions. Did you have any necessities, namely blankets and mosquito nets? Answer, I had Réponse. one blanket, but not mosquito net. Pas de Question. Question, were you given any necessities? Vous -on donné autre chose? Answer, Réponse. I was given a black skirt. On remis une jupe noire. Question, what about the blanket you Question. have just Quand mentioned? Was it given to you, or did you get your blanket from somewhere else? Else, did you have pillow or bed to sleep? You know, on. Answer. 
No pillows, no bed for me. Donc, I had my own blanket de, at that time. D'oreiller, j'avais ma couverture. Sray, no pillow, sray. Question. Female worker at that time. When you went to relieve yourself, where Et did you go while you were working at the bank more than work site? De vous soulager sur le site de Trappermont, où alliez-vous? We dug a pit Réponse, nous une and fosse. Uh, we relieved ourselves by using that pit. Question. Oh, was it Question. appropriate for you to relieve yourself Et as a human being? En tant être humain, approprié pour vous? Answer. No, but uh, what else could I do? Réponse, non, mais que vouliez-vous que je fasse? Lawyer, thank you very much for answering the question. Merci uh, d'avoir répondu à la question. Mr. President, my esteemed colleagues will need five minutes to put questions. So may you allow uh, uh, Mary Guido to put question, you know, in that five minutes. President, you may now proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour à tous. Good Bonjour, Madame le témoin. Je m'appelle Marie Guiraud. Je suis avocat du collectif des partis J'ai quelques courtes questions questions à vous poser. Vous avez indiqué said, uh, tout à l'heure au, au bureau du coprocureur que vous aviez séjourné à l'hôpital car vous étiez uh, atteinte de malaria. Hospital. Et je voulais savoir s'il y avait, avait d'autres personnes dans votre unité qui avaient eu la malaria pendant la période où vous étiez sur le barrage de Trapéantma. personne d'autre. Vous avez indiqué que vous, êtes, said, uh, que vous avez séjourné à l'hôpital. Vous souvenez-vous comment était cet hôpital et pouvez-vous le décrire à la cour like Est-ce Réponse, Answer, non, je ne no. me souviens plus I de cet hôpital. hôpital well. Vous avez indiqué à la cour un peu plus tôt court, ce matin que vous aviez fui de cet hôpital parce que vous aviez peur et que vous souhaitiez aller retrouver votre mère. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit ce matin Réponse oui, euh, Answer, dit ça ce yes, matin. I said that this morning indeed. Aviez-vous la possibilité à l'époque, aviez-vous le droit de rendre right visite à vos parents to go visit your family? Réponse. Answer. Non, je n'avais no. pas le droit d'aller rendre visite right à ma famille. Est-ce que cette situation était la même pour les autres membres de votre unité Avaient-ils également l'interdiction de rendre visite aux membres de leur famille Réponse Oui, ils étaient dans la même situation que moi. Vous a-t-on expliqué à l'époque pourquoi vous n'aviez pas le droit d'être en contact avec votre famille Réponse. Answer. Non, on ne no. nous a rien dit. Nobody told us anything about this. Vous a-t-on expliqué lors And des réunions dont the vous avez parlé ce matin quel rôle morning, jouait l'encart par rapport à vos parents Est-ce que c'est quelque chose dont vous avez parlé à l'époque Non, on ne nous a rien dit. No, we told 
Vous avez indiqué un petit peu plus tôt à mon confrère que vous n'aviez pas le droit de circuler librement. Aviez-vous le droit de circuler sur le chantier ou n'aviez-vous pas le droit de circuler, par exemple, d'une unité à une autre Est-ce que vous pouvez un petit peu expliquer ce que vous entendez par « nous n'avions pas le droit de circuler librement » Réponse. Answer. On nous interdisait de We se déplacer d'une unité à l'autre. Et saviez-vous à l'époque ce qu'il arrivait aux personnes then, qui se déplaçaient sans en avoir le droit Réponse, non, personne no. ne se déplaçait librement. Nobody Tout le monde avait peur. Would move about freely. Everyone was afraid. Peur de quoi Réponse, tout le monde avait peur d'être emmené pour être abattu. J'ai juste une dernière question sur... Question. Les conditions euh, euh, médicales au sein de votre unité, vous avez indiqué avoir été malade de, de malaria. Pouvez-vous euh, indiquer à la cour si d'autres membres de votre unité étaient malades à l'époque Vous avez indiqué que vous étiez la seule à avoir eu la malaria. Y avait-il d'autres personnes malades dans votre unité lorsque vous étiez sur le chantier de Trapéantmans Réponse. Answer. Je ne pouvais pas savoir ce qui se passait dans d'autres unités, même s'il y en avait eu, je n'étais pas à la portée de ma connaissance. Et dans votre propre unité Le président, patientez un petit moment. Allez-y, Maître Kongsman. Je m'oppose à cette question parce qu'elle est répétitive. La témoin a dit qu'elle était la seule à être atteinte de paludisme. Précisément, Monsieur le Président, Mr. ma question President, portait sur question les autres maladies que le paludisme. Donc, euh, je pense là, pour le coup, vraiment ne pas être répétitif du tout. Je vous demande l'autorisation de poser cette question qui est ma dernière. Madame le témoin, y avait-il au sein de votre unité des personnes qui étaient malades d'autres maladies que le paludisme Réponse Answer. Oui, enfin, ils étaient atteints de diarrhée, yes, diarrhea, de dysenterie, dysentery, um, et ils prenaient du remède traditionnel and they would take et traditional medicine. ils étaient guéris. And then they were cured. Je vous remercie, Madame le Thank Témoin. You, Je n'ai plus de questions. Merci, no Monsieur le Président. Questions. Thank you, Mr. President. Bah, okay. Le Président. President, um, le moment est venu d'observer une The pause. L'audience reprendra à 13 heures. Le sujet d'audience va résumer à 3 o'clock. Court à 15 heures. Um, Le sujet d'audience va veiller, veiller au confort de, du témoin pendant la pause et veiller le uh, la Bring reconduire the à la barre uh, avant 13 heures. Uh, before 3 o'clock.